Hey, I'm Adrian for ProductionCrate.com, and today I'm going to show you three ways to make your voice sound spooky for Halloween. The first is going to be a simple pitch shift, kind of like you're a monster or something. The second is a reverse reverb effect, kind of like a ghost. And the third, my favorite, is we're going to double up your voice, almost like you're possessed by a demon or something. There is no time to waste, so let's get started. All right, so this is primarily an Adobe Audition tutorial, but I figured I should start off in Premiere because you're probably going to be using this for a video, which means you're more than likely going to start in Premiere rather than Audition. It's really easy to get clips from Premiere into Audition, very convenient as well. So I have my video pre-done already, so let's go ahead and find the first part where we need to have a voice effect. The first is gonna be a simple pitch shift kind of like you're a monster or something okay so in that point i'm supposed to be a monster so i'm just going to isolate that audio with my razor tool just chop that part out and then i'm going to right click it and click edit clip in adobe audition and just wait for that to load and now what that has done is check this out if you look at this little clip that we separated right here it might be hard to see because it's a very subtle detail but in the corners it now has these little white triangles and those uh symbolize the beginning and the end of the clip and also you can see if we drag it into a new layer and try and pull it out further we can't whereas on the other ones we can because what this did is it rendered out that clip and sent it into audition and now the two clips are linked together so here we are in audition and any changes we make here will be updated here in premiere which is very handy and very easy so uh, I said on this first one all we're gonna do is pitch shift it so I'm just gonna double click on it to turn the entire thing white and then under effects I'm going to come down to time and pitch and come to pitch shift and there's a bunch of presets here well just a few of them but uh, a lot of these I think are kind of too extreme for example if we play the Dark Lord that pretty much is shifting down as far as it can possibly go <laughs> and it's shifted down to the point where you can't even understand it anymore so I'm just gonna start from the default the first is gonna be a simple pitch shift kind of like you're a monster or something and uh, let's just start bringing it down until it sounds good but we can still understand it so here here we are at negative five semitones. The first is going to be a simple pitch shift, kind of like you're a monster or something. I think we can stand to go a little lower. The first is going to be a simple pitch shift, kind of like you're a monster or something. The first is going to be a simple pitch shift, kind of like you're a monster or something. All right, that sounds great to me. So I'm going to apply that. And then I'm just going to hit Control S to save it. Now in Premiere, you see it happened real quick because this was a very short clip. But the, uh, the waveform kind of disappeared and then reappeared. That was the clip reloading. And now it's been updated in Premiere automatically. Check this out. Three ways to make your voice sound spooky for Halloween. The first is going to be a simple pitch shift, kind of like you're a monster or something. Okay, and just to accentuate that a little more, let's head over to Sounds Crate, and I'm just going to do a search for monster. And here we have a couple of monster growls and some other things that popped up. Let's see what these sound like. So I actually want to use both of those, so I'm just gonna go ahead and download both of them and just bring those right into the project. And I'll mute my main tracks so I just have these secondary tracks. Uh, to make these tracks bigger so you can see them in the newest version of Premiere, just hover over this front part of it here and just move your mouse wheel or your scroll wheel up and down to make it bigger or smaller. So let's see what these are. Okay, so this first one, I kind of like the buildup of. So I'm just gonna kind of chop it in half and just use the beginning. And I wanna use it to kind of lead into my monster voice. So I'm just gonna drag it over here. Why don't I trim this monster voice like this? And then I'll add a transition between them. So in my effects panel, I'm just gonna type constant power. And what this is, is just a fading transition that we can trim up real tight. And that should sound like it's a, a monster growl leading into the speaking voice. Cool. And then this second one. Okay, I really just like this end part here. And I want to use this to kind of accent hard consonants. So it's like, uh, you know, I got a monstery voice. So let's solo the the uh, voice itself. Okay, this happened already be exactly where I want it. I want to just, let me just unsolo that. And I might turn it down a little so it's not overpowering. Cool, that's exactly what I wanted. So let's just listen to that whole monster section. Halloween. 
first is gonna be a simple pitch shift, kind of like you're a monster or something. Cool, let's move on to the ghost. The second is a reverse reverb effect, kind of like a ghost. So I'm just gonna chop out that bit of audio. I'm gonna right click it and send it to Adobe Audition. And then in Adobe Audition, this is a little more complicated than the other one. So first I need to double click it to highlight the entire thing. And under effects, I'm going to click reverse. Which is fine. And on the end of it, I wanna go ahead and add some silence. So I'm just gonna bring my playhead to the end, hit edit, come down to insert and silence. And it suggests five seconds, that should be all right. And now highlight the entire thing. And in effects again, I'm going to go to reverb and full reverb. And then you can just kind of cycle through these presets until you find one you like. As you can see, I already know I like Great Hall. So there are other ones to choose from, of course. There's large auditorium, maybe. That one's pretty good, actually. It's kind of hard to tell because the idea here is that we want it to still be understandable, but we can't understand this voice anyway because it's been reversed. So there is a little bit of guesswork involved. We actually have one here called Ghost Whispers. Let's see what that sounds like. <laughs> All right, that sounds pretty cool and scary. I think I'm going to, in the output level, I'm gonna bring up the dry a little bit, which is just the, the unaffected audio, and I'm gonna bring down the reverberation, just so there's less of the whole effect on it. That sounds like it's probably about what I want. So I'll click apply, and then again, I want to reverse this. So in effects, I'll hit reverse, and let's see what that sounds like. The second is a reverse reverb effect, kind of like a ghost. Okay, so that's not exactly what I had in the opening example, but I used a different preset, so that's why. Uh, you can use whichever one you want. They're all probably fine. It just depends on what you like. So I'll go ahead and save this, which I can do with Control S again. And then in Premiere, it should update. But in this case, it's not gonna be synced anymore because we changed the length of the clip. And we, we added the silence to the end, but it was reversed at the time. So it's really like we added silence to the beginning. So that's why this clip isn't showing up. But what I can do if I just click it and I bring it down to its own track and then pull the end of it out to extend it as far as it'll go, the end part of it is still in the right spot. So if I just drag it backwards to match up with this other clip that's above it, that should work. So here's our monster and our ghost voice. Halloween. First is gonna be a simple pitch shift, kind of like you're a monster or something. The second is a reverse reverb effect, kind of like a ghost. And the third, my on Sounds Crate, we do have ghost sounds as well. So if you wanted to, you could download this and just drop it in the background. And it looks like it's almost an appropriate length already. And I'll just turn the volume of it way down so it's not overpowering. A monster or something. The second is a reverse reverb effect, kind of like a ghost. Hey, okay, and that just adds a little bit to it. So this third one is gonna be a little bit more advanced. And the third, my favorite, is we're gonna double up your voice almost like you're possessed by a demon or something. Okay, so I'm going to chop it right here where I start to say double up and I'll right click that and bring that into audition. But uh, what I want to do now is actually insert this one into a multi-track session. Okay, so now this is kind of in a composition of sorts where we can add more tracks to this. Double up your voice almost like you're possessed by a demon or something. So I did uh, pre-record something, which I'll show you now. I just bring that in and solo it. So I kind of just did my best death metal cookie monster impression here. Double up your voice almost like you're possessed by a demon or something. But, uh, no need to pretend like you're not impressed. Now if I unsolo that, and we now have these two clips here, which don't line up exactly. But Double, Double up, up your, your voice, voice almost, almost like, like you're possessed, possessed by a by demon, a demon or, something. or something. So this is really easy to fix. We just need to highlight both of them and right click on them and select automatic speech alignment. And this is used for replacing a bad sounding audio in, in your video with audio that you've recorded separately. It's called ADR or automatic dialogue replacement. And uh, so what we can do is set our reference clip to be the clip that we brought in from Premiere, which was our normal voice. And then the unaligned clip uh, will have be the other clip, which is the demon voice that I recorded separately. And uh, this basically is just a one click does it for you. But you 
you can select if you want it to be a tight alignment, which means it'll stretch the second clip as much as it needs to to make it fit the first one exactly. Or you can have it be as smooth as possible, but then that will make it not as exact, but it, the clip won't be as distorted and it won't sound as bad. It'll sound a little bit better. Or you can balance between the two. But in this case, this is a demon voice, so it doesn't matter to me if it's distorted and it really should be exact or as close as possible. So normally you want to click balanced and stretching if you're using this for ADR, balanced alignment and stretching rather. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead with tightest alignment and I'm going to tell it that the reference clip is noisy because I feel like that makes it work a little harder, which I want it to because these voices are different. Uh, but I actually don't know if that's correct. So you could experiment with using that or not using it. So I'll just hit OK. And then I can delete my clip, which no longer matches up. And now I have these two tracks here where the waveforms are different, but they look like the main parts of them are in the same spot. And those are going to be more in sync now. Double up your voice, almost like you're possessed by a demon or something. OK, and on this demon voice, if you want to just add a little bit extra to it, you can double click it. And now we're back in here like we were before, and you can add effects to it. Like if you want to bring down the pitch of it like we did before, we can bring that down just a little bit. We could also add a little bit of reverb to it like we did before. It's too much, I believe. Just found a, a mild one. And then if you go back to the session with both the clips, you can hear that update. Double up your voice, almost like you're possessed by a demon or something. Okay, so that is my possessed demon voice. So if I come down to file and export, I can tell it to export a multi-track mix down the entire session. And uh, now in this window, you just save it where you want it, give it whatever name you want, and that's going to give you an audio file, which then in Premiere, you can import back in, which I already have done. And I'll just bring that in and I'll put it where it goes. Here's my demon voice. Third, my favorite is we're going to double up your voice almost like you're possessed by a demon or something. You can see there was a little bit of a scream in there just to add to the spook factor. Uh, for that, I just search for scream. And as you can see here, we have this Banshee scream on the website. So I just downloaded that, dropped it in, and turned down the volume so it wasn't overpowering my voice too much. And that is how I did the three spooky Halloween vocal effects. If you don't already know, we have a whole bunch of sweet Halloween footage on the site, which is footagecrate.com, including some that have just been added within the past couple of days. And of course, we still have the zombies we keep talking about as well. So if you're interested in any of that, go ahead and swing by footagecrate.com. And then, like I just showed you, we do have some pretty good spooky sound effects if you need some Halloween sound effects for whatever project you're working on. And of course, we have some spooky music as well, which you might hear a sample of playing right now. Beyond that, I appreciate your viewing. My name has been Adrian Jensen for ProductionCreate.com, and have a spooky day.